Can I have the, can I have the judges for a, a documentary in room two, please? Judges for documentary in room two, please. Sit down and be quiet. <laughs> yeah, I need my judges. Who have we got? Uh, yeah, can, can everybody put their um, tickets up here, their lanyard uh, tickets, please? Now, just the tickets, um, Craig. Just keep the, keep the thing, snappy thing. Missing Selena and Richard Wood. Uh, Richard. Richard? Richard, can we have your tag? Uh, <laughs> Selena, can we have your ticket, please? Your tag? Um, we got all the judges here, so we're just going to do the run through first for the documentary.
I'd like to say hello and, and uh, welcome to our judges, our audience, and online listeners. Uh, and welcome to the second day of judging at the 2019 Nippon Iris Awards. My name is Terry Reefert Han, um, and um, your panel chair. I'm assisted by the talented Adam Buckle. And out back, we've got Dave and Mark. Dave. Dave and Mark are our print wranglers for this morning. Uh, and Joe on the live streamer, apparently. This morning we're judging the documentary category sponsored by Sony. I'll just read out the specifications for this uh, category. Uh, the category recognizes uh, the the genre of documentary photography and is the, I'm sorry, I can't even read this without my, get a bit of light on the subject. Ah. Category recognizes the genre of documentary photography and is for entries that depict some aspect of the human condition. Imagery entered may be as a result of press, news events, street travel, birth, sports, <coughs> and wedding photography. Entries must have been observed and not directed or created. They must have been captured without the intervention of the intervention of the photographer. Entries may be commissioned or self-commissioned and must be the result of a single exposure of light to either film or digital sensor. Again, this is sponsored by Sony. Right, can we have the judges uh, Richard Wood, Mike Lamford, Craig Witchen, Catherine Cattingat, and Tony Carter. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie, can I call you up? Um, instead of uh, Catherine. Wonderful. Thank you, judges. You can all log in. Um, I'm just, I'm just changing the screens, Mike. Hold on. Okay, Craig's logged in. Can the rest of you just um, have a look and see whether you're logged in? You're not com coming up on my screen yet. We've got Jackie, Craig, Mike, Tony. I'm Richard. Cool. Ready to go, guys? Yeah, that's all good. That's good. Can we have the first sprint, please? <coughs> um, uh, 
Okay, I need to read out the, uh, the caption for this. People experiencing uh, a light installation. That's the title. There is no caption. We have an initial score of 73. Are we happy with that, judges? Then we'll accept it. Thank you. Can we have a comment from Mike? Would it be more dynamic had the uh, position of the camera changed during the recording of the event? Uh, different viewpoints would have made it more dynamic. Thank you, Mike. Can we have the next print, please? I'm just going to read out the caption for this one as well. Sorry, guys, I got caught up with a technical issue there. Um, Scrub Fire, Central Otago, in March 2019. Um, this photograph is of helicopters. Um, sorry, I'm still trying to read. This photograph is of helicopters, 10 machines desperately trying to control this large fire before being stood down for the night. The fire was believed to have been caused by lightning strikes and spread over two, 280 hectares, threatening several properties. And the print score is 72. Be happy there, judges. We'll accept that. And can we have a uh, comment from Tony. Up the mic again. Stand up. Tony. I sort of feel that it's, it feels more like a, a landscape than a documentary image. Um, so maybe black and white and, and cropping a bit more off the top of the sky. Thank you, Tony. Come here on the next print, please. There's no caption on this one. Uh, there is a there is a title. Uh, the title, um, the humble farmer's notebook. The humble farmer's notebook. I'm sorry. It's check the tallies. The humble farmer's notebook. Print scores, 69. Thank you, judges. Can we have a comment from um, oh yeah. Craig? I'm struggling with the narrative in the shot and just what, what I'm, uh, I get the title, but it just, just needs more impact. Thank you, Craig. Uh, and um, Mike, would you like to say something as well? Yeah, just a constructive um, comment, if that's okay. Uh, better printing. Uh, there's lots of detail on the highlights. Uh, just better printing. Valid points. Thank you, Mike. Can we have the next print, please? It's got a title, Mother's Day Visit. Oh, wedi wedding Day Visit. I beg your pardon.
schools based judges print scores 80 a silver majority of three well done still love a comment on this one please uh, Richard you haven't said anything yet um, I, I really enjoyed the, the narrative through here um, especially the I got a, a story from each individual um, which I really like Uh, thank you for that. Can we have the next print, please? The image title on this one is A Window to Life. We have an average score of 85, which is, of course, silver distinction. I think everybody would be pretty happy with that. <laughs> so we'll accept that. Um, can we have a, a comment on that print, please? Um, Tony. Yeah, from back here, you thought, like, what's going on? But when you get up there and you just see, you know, somebody giving birth in a, in a, in a car, you know, you've got the spotlights shining down up with the blue sky you can see the woman's face through the you know through the through the window just quite original and and well seen and well captured very interesting thank you tony silver distinction well done that author um next print please next print please This is titled Old School Fun. even scoring there 76 bronze well done can we have a comment please um, yeah um, I wanted to take this into the next scoring range maybe maybe monochrome and bring a little bit more mood into that into that that, that, that moment uh, but you know that's because uh, I love monochrome thank you Jackie uh, next print please Um, this one has a, the title of this one is Always in Motion, uh, Skipper's We Something Dawn, Skipper's We Love, what's it say on there, that through. oh Skipper's Welcome Dawn, um, it's for an annual report, uh, the image, uh, image library for the client, um, Candid style images of their crews and vessels at work. Skipper prepares to shoot the net for the first daylight trawl. Uh, there's a big swell. Everything is uh, moving. Angles are never 
uh, straight and everything is undefined. Thank you, judges. Uh, we have a 74. Uh, it's a high professional standard. I'm going to accept that. And we'd love a comment from uh, Richard. Oh, sorry, Mike has put his hand up. Thank you, Mike. The difficulty with this is the caption talks about action, but there's no action in the photograph. It would help to have some action in the photograph. Thank you, Mike. Uh, can we have the next print, please? title on this one is just throw the veil in the air and run. Print score is 72. You've been scoring again there, judges. Thank you for that. Um, uh, sorry. Um, Jackie. Yeah, I, I think there's a, a good story in this. Maybe just cropping off the bride and groom and leaving the girl on the right, because that's really where all the action's happening. Thanks, Jackie. Could we have the next print, please? Caption on this one is after the shoot. Thank you, judges. Um, this print score is 67. And uh, we're happy with that. Can we have a comment from Tony, please? There's a story here, but it sort of feels a wee bit out of order, and, and, the, and the print quality is quite, uh, quite poor. Um, I think sometimes when you've got a blue sky, it's good to have it at the top, and, and when you've got no sky, to have the images at the bottom. So you sort of create some sort of story. Thanks, Tony. Can we have a blank screen, please? Uh, Craig, can you step down for a minute? Thank you for your wonderful judging. And Melissa, can you um, come on board, please? Thank you, Melissa. Melissa Anderson from Australia. One of our lovely Australian judges. Okay. Good to go. Next print, please. Uh, there's no title on this one, or caption.
Waiting on you, Richard. A score of 77, high bronze. Yep, um, we have a uh, elective challenge and Mike Langford would like to take that up. Take it away, Mike. I gave this 82. I sort of feel like uh, the story's, the, the narrative's strong, it's obvious. Uh, it's not something we haven't seen before, but it's incredibly well done. I uh, love the, the exposure with a little bit of detail on the person sweeping, but just enough detail on the highlights to take your eye to the background. Um, I, I think it's incredibly well done, much better than just a bronze. Melissa. Yeah, I scored this at 73. Um, I enjoy the story and I enjoy the composition. Um, I would have liked uh, a little bit more interest, perhaps, in the, in the background. I feel that I'm drawn in and I'm um, compositionally drawn into that background and, and I'm left just searching for more. So um, I, um, I'm happy to come up, um, but um, I'm still listening. Is there any other support for the print? Doesn't look like you've got a lot of support. They might get, um, it's back to you. Oh. It's latent support. <laughs> <laughs> They're all going to come up. Uh, the, the background, there's enough in the background to you, tell you where you are without it being over overt. Uh, we know the destination, we know the, the subject, we know the content, uh, but it's not being rammed down our throat. It's something that's just subtle, and in the subtlety is, is what's coming through. A lack of crowd, uh, that, that's a strange thing for me in a place like this. So I'm looking at the differences. I don't have expectations of more. I find the simplicity of it is what's giving it the strength. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Um, sitting on 77, Mike would like to see it in the silver range. Let's rescore it and see where it goes. Good work, Mike. You've given us a cliffhammer at 79. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Um, okay, we've got to deal with this. Um, I've got to try and work this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> Can we rescan that image, please? Dave, Mark, can we rescan it, please? Thank you. Now, when it comes back, you know what you've got to do, don't you? 79 or 80. Make your mind up, time. Uh, I've just got to get the print back up on my system. Um, can we try rescanning it again, please? Uh, no, it's come up now. Um, okay, send this through. There you go, guys. And it stays at 79. Uh, high bronze. Well done, that author. <laughs> Next print, please. Next print, please. have a blank screen for a moment please I'm sorry judges can you sit back down and uh, re-enter your last score on that image um, so the last image if you can re-enter the same scores again I'm quite sure why we're having to do it twice but still uh, accept that and can we have the print back again please for next one to judge 
Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to find out whether there's a caption for it. No, there's no title on it. scores 66. Thank you judges. Can we have a comment please? Melissa, you're looking at me. <laughs> I do that every now and then. Um, I think this is a, a really interesting um, how we've got the two different images that are contrasting from um, to give us a, a full idea of the storyline. So we've got from security, media, um, guns to then we've got the actual grief in the process. So we've got, you know, the reaction and, and uh, and, and the emotion, so well done. Thank you, I'm gonna have to get you guys to put your scores in again, I'm afraid, just this one final time for this print. Same as last time. Sorry, you should be able to now. Thank you judges. Can we have a blank screen please? Okay, Richard, could you swap out for Catherine, please? <coughs> Thank you, Catherine. Um, next print, please. The title on this one is Valentino Rossi at the Australian Moto G Moto GP. Um, it's also a caption. Uh, it's considered one of the most successful motorcycle riders of all time. Nine times world champion Valentino Rossi celebrates on the podium after yet another successful Moto GP. Okay, uh, it's interesting, we've got a, um, an average of 76. A little bit of diversion here between the judges. Um, so we've got a auto challenge from Tony. What did you score, Tony? I've scored at 86. <laughs> Mel scored at 68. I think she just copied me but did it wrong <laughs> <laughs> way around. So maybe she'll adjust that, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, th this image here, um, it's a visual feast of colour, but but it's, it's, it's way beyond that. The storytelling is phenomenal, and the order of it is, is very well put together as well. So, you know, I think it's just a little bit different for a series, but, yeah, it's the storytelling's all there from the, you know, the expressions through from winning through to the fast action of some of the shots to the pit crew to the, you know, the bike leading in. So you can see that the photographer knows his subject matter very well and has put this together at a very high standard and I think it's, it's a silverwood distinction.
Thank you, Tony. Melissa, you know that you've got to talk, don't you? I do, I do. We <laughs> did giggle when we saw the, uh, the scores. <laughs> uh, what was your score? Uh, my score is 68, so I use the same digit um, as Tony. I just reversed them. Um, so, and I guess the reason I did, f I did that was compositionally I struggled with this. I found that um, I, th there are individually stunning images all through here, but collectively I don't find that they, um, they add strength altogether. And when I listen to the title, the title and the, um, and the caption directly relate to, um, to Valentino Rossi on the podium, which is one particular moment which, which we're there. So I'm kind of left why we've got all of these different other areas if it's that moment that we're describing and we're celebrating. Um, why have we got all of this where I'm getting distracted and, and, and that's why I've, I've put it in that score range. Thanks, Melissa. We'll go to Jackie. Yeah, I, I scored at 83 and uh, I think it's very, very creative. Uh, if, you, if you sort of squint your eyes, you can see how the, the blues sort of feather through it for this, particularly the start and the end with the racing. Uh, the number 46, all, there's all iconic images in there that all add to the story. I, I, I thought it all came together really well and, and in a quite sophisticated way. So, you know, well done on 83. Thanks, Maybe 86. Jackie. Anybody else in support of this print would like to talk to it? Uh, oh, yep. Uh. Um, I gave this 73 and I'm happy to come up to a silver. Um, I feel like this photographer has taken a whole lot of chaos and um, actually, you know, and a whole lot of images and made them work compositionally. I was on 73 because I, I felt that the narrative was a bit lost with the ordering of the photos and I can see why the photographer's done it because uh, it's visually balanced but the winning is on the top right and then we're back to racing at the end. Um, but I do appreciate that this person's taken a lot of lurid, lurid colour and all that advertising and actually made a graphic image that's really worked and that deserves celebrating. So um, silver, not silver distinction, but I'm coming out to silver. Thanks, Catherine. It looks like it's back to you, Tony. Sum up. Yes. So just uh, to address the, the, the uh, podium shot being in the, in the top right-hand corner, because it, it's sort of the, one of the weakest links uh, graphically, putting it in the top right corner is a great spot for it because that's sort of where we, our eyes tend to go a lot of the time. And, and, and even the, you know, the heavy weight of the, the crop of the bike on the bottom right-hand corner turning into the image it's, it's, it's all this is all just very very smart so so it sounds like we're heading for a silver country but um you know i'm still pretty keen on civil distinction okay judges let's uh we score sitting, sitting on 76 tony's looking for silver has he done it yes he has it's an 83 silver good strong one too well done <laughs> me, um Catherine, can you just step off for a minute? And um, Richard, can you just take uh, Catherine's seat just for a moment, please? Thank you. Next pen, please. Sorry, yep. Um, uh, this is number, right number, is number 13. Yep. Our caption is um, Woman in Meat Market. Woman in Meat Market. Prince was 76, bronze. Uh, Melissa would like to challenge that. I scored this in the silver range on 82, and I think um, 
I, I particularly enjoy this image because we are drawn to that subject matter. We have the chaos surrounding, which is quite indicative of these locations, but we're drawn straight into this woman. There's also humour in the image. You know, directly beneath the woman, we're effectively looking straight up the clacker. I can say clacker, I think. Um, <laughs> so, you know, in terms of this meat market, we've got um, people eating, we've got uh, people cooking. It, it shows this chaotic environment with colour, uh, with... Um, a lack of, of hygiene, all of that kind of stuff, and we're drawn straight into that woman, and uh, and I think there's humour in it, so I, I'd love to chat about it. Uh, Jackie? Uh, yes, I read all that, um, and I think it would be stronger if it was cropped in closer. I think there was too much going on around the edge that was distracting my eyes, and, and that sort of deadpan look on her face, I was trying to make sense of that with the foreground, and if there had been some more interaction between those two, I would have been right there with you. But. Uh, thank you, Jackie. Back to you, Melissa. Yeah, I think in this image, um, it needs that background. It needs to show this is just daily life. Uh, this is exactly what's happening. It's chaotic, it's messy. There's nothing special about this particular moment. This is just, this is life, this is documented, and there is humour, and the photographer has, has brought that element to it. So, um, yeah. Thank you, Melissa. Judges, three score, please. Moved up one point. It's on bronze at 77. Good, strong bronze there for that uh, photographer. Thank you. Okay, Richard, I'd like you to lob, just, just, just vacate uh, for Catherine for a little while. Very much. Can we have the next print, please? Uh, this print is titled. Breakfast time. Breakfast time. Print score is 79, so we're going to uh, talk about it. Um, Catherine would like to have the first chat. What is your score, Catherine? I gave this an 83 silver. Um, I think this is a beautiful, quiet moment that tells us a lot about this woman's life. It's been very well handled. Um, I, I love the printing, I love the light, and the more you look around it, um, the more of a story you find I, I wish I had longer to um, explore what's on the walls there, but you know she's got some dancing figures on the mantelpiece there, and a sign that seems to say something like "Stay courageous." You know she's got a lot of challenges in her life. I mean, what a breakfast! Um, there's mood, emotion, narrative, and it's been beautifully handled. And uh, yeah, it's it's definitely worthy of a silver. Thanks, Catherine. Tony. Yeah, I'm on 76. I'll come up into early silver. I, I saw everything that uh, Catherine saw. It's just the print quality that let me down a wee bit. So, But, yeah, I'll be coming up. There's enough of the story, that's for sure. Jackie? So, yeah, I'm likewise on 83 already, and uh, I can feel a huge amount of empathy for this woman through the communication. There's a great communication here that's that's not being forced, but it, we're, we're looking in, and that, that the handle on the door is the handle that really needed to be there to balance out the rest of that composition. It's very, quite sophisticated, you know, I'm 83. Uh, maybe it should be 85. Catherine, what do you reckon? Thank you, Jackie. Back to you, Catherine. Um, I think we've, we've covered a lot about this image and um, it sounds like we're all coming up. I'll leave it up to you guys to where you, as to where you head for that. Nice, exciting time for the author of this print, is it? Uh, on 79 and it's gone up to an 84 
Nice strong silver there. Well done. <laughs> Next print, please. Okay, um, caption on this one is the Venetian discovery by audio tour, Doggy's Palace, uh, from one grand room to the next. Sisters explore the remarkable, the remarkable of the Doggy's Palace in Venice. Um, stopping under a shaft of window light, they are engrossed in the audio tour while Dad waits for them in the next room. Prince scores 85. Well done, judges. Pretty even scoring there. Obviously, uh, well deserved. Um, I'd like to take a comment, please. Mike, you're looking at me. I was hoping we were going to challenge this because it could have gone even higher. Um, I, I think it's exquisite. Uh, just the whole arrangement of uh, the, the door in the middle, uh, the different emotions. Uh, the light, it, it's beautiful. It, it seriously could have gone gold somehow. Uh, I think we've underscored it. Thank you, Mike. I think that's a lesson to us all that, um, you know, you put your scores where you feel they should be in the first place and yeah, then we get the separation of the points so that we can then challenge it. Next print, please. Daily Commute. Just the title, Daily Commute. Uh, print scores 70, high bronze. Um, sorry, not bronze, um, high professional standard. Um, can I take a comment, please? Um, maybe Catherine? Um, I think the photographer has successfully uh, captured the chaos of the daily commute in this country, but I've, um, I gave this a 72 and I'm comfortable with it there. I didn't really get rewarded by any particular element of interest in expression or anything in the people once you go around. So, yeah, that's why. Thank you, Catherine. Next print, please. Um, title on this one is Race Prep, Race Win, RD2 Suzuki Series New Zealand. And the caption reads, the New Zealand Suzuki Series is a prestigious motorcycle racing event that takes place every December. Competitors from all over the world come to compete against New Zealand's best. For these riders, racing is life. Anything before or after is just waiting. Print scores 81. There is a uh, elective challenge, and Melissa's going to take it up. What was your score? I scored this 86 in the silver distinction range. Um, 
I find this, uh, this composition in front of us, compositionally it works really well. We're drawn in from every corner. We've got beautiful leading lines taking us in. And the storylines in here, um, I think, tell us a complete, um, a complete story of this life, from children being involved to people constantly waiting to pit crews to, you know, individually the images are, are beautiful from, you know, the centre image that we're drawn straight in with a shaft of light uh, to taking it around to the support team that obviously, uh, that, that make this all happen. And I, I feel that this is a portrait of, um, it's a portrait of a community really that, you know, all of these people support and make this happen. And I feel that uh, this is well handled and well executed and documents um, exceptionally well. Thank you, Melissa. Tony? Yeah, I'm on 76. I'll, I'll come up into early silver, but that's about it. Um, ag again, it's, it's, it's all there, but I sort of find, I feel like moving the images around to sort of find a balance. I find the, the middle row, how it's on the, on, the, on the right side in the middle there, it's very heavy, and then on the left side, it's very light. So I sort of find no balance, and um, the, the sum of the parts aren't equaling something bigger for me, which is words from Mike Langford last year. So, something I learnt last year. Thank you, Tony. Got anybody else who would like to comment on the print? At this stage, it looks like it's back to you, Melissa. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, this, is, this is not about full intensity. There, and, and, and that was related to in the caption as well, that a lot of the time is spent waiting. You know, that you're waiting for that particular moment. So there are moments that are full intensity and the rest of it is, is empty and it's people just sitting around waiting to see what happens, what we have to fix, what's going to go wrong, how is it performing. Um, I actually find the composition, like, you know, if you follow from that right-hand side down, you've got arms that are leading in, you've got bikes that are leading in, you've got bikes that are racing in. So I find compositionally we are drawn in through lines um, th all through this, even from the bottom where we've got the vertical lines and the top with the legs that are directing us down into that centre image. I find it all supports that centre image and that's what we're that's what we're intended to read in it. So I'd encourage people to, um, to come up. Thanks, Melissa. Let's rescore. Sitting on 81, Melissa's looking for a distinction here. And it's moved up to an 83, which is a lovely, strong silver. Well done, the author. Thank you very much. <laughs> Can we have a blank screen, please? Blank screen, please. Jackie, thank you for your lovely commentary. Um, Richard, can you take Jackie's place, please? And Melissa, thank you for yours. Um, and can sign... Oh, sorry, Selena. Can you come up? Thank you, Selena's one of our Australian judges. Lovely. And while we're waiting for them to log in, um, anybody in the audience is a first-time entrant? Yes? Okay. Um, to wear one of these lovely little armbands. Oh, you've got one. So nobody else has got a entrant for the first time. No. Okay, that's good. Um, it's waiting for our judges to log in. Um, I'm still waiting for a couple here. I've got Tony. I've got Catherine. I've got Mike. So Richard, have you logged in? You have. Can you um, log out? Log in again, please. Try it now. Great, thanks, Richard. Uh, we're good to go. Next print, please.
Sorry, folks, just hold on. We've got a, we've got a technical hitch here again. Judges, can you just remember your scores that you were going to give that print? I'm going to have to get some assistance. And what we're going to do is just have a blank screen. Can I have someone from honors, please? Is Mike around? <laughs> Not that Mike. Unless you fancy becoming a computer wizard there, Mike. <laughs> uh, I think you're a better photographer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got a sequence error, that's all. Can we have a blank screen, please? Uh, there's a few announcements we need to make anyway. Um, talking about our dear judges, um, we uh, have the um, Ian Paul uh, Memorial um, Trophy, which goes to one of our lovely judges. So there is a voting box outside, and um, we'd like you to go and um, make a suggestion for your favorite judge. New Zealand, New Zealand judge. It's a New Zealand judge. Oh, OK. I'm sure they would. Um, Uh, uh, we'd, I'm sure we'd love to adopt you. Um, now, we want to remind you about the Sony event with Dean Zilwood on at the shooting stage at Shed 6 at 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. today. It's a free event, so that's worthwhile. Um, and the trade show is open from 3 o'clock today. Let's go and buy some lovely new equipment at the trade show. How are we doing? Okay, can we have the image back, please? Ah, uh, the last one. Yep, that one. And please add your scores, judges. Uh, print scores. 81, uh, but we definitely have a little bit of a uh, challenge there from Tony. Um, what was your score, Tony? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. I, um, you're both in the high 80s there. Catherine, you're an 88. Yeah, 88. Um, silver distinction. This is a fantastic um, image. It's a portrait, but it is also very documentary about this old man's life. Um, it's very, very full of detail, which all works brilliantly together to take your eye around the image. Um, I really enjoy all the repeated uh, circles and the pot plants and the and the dishwasher there and the hanging plants at the beginning at the, at the top there, sorry, and then all the vertical lines as well. Um, there's so much chaos, but you just keep coming back to that beautiful face. Um, love the printing. Love the composition, yeah, conservatory of treasures, and, and he's a total treasure as well. Yeah, silver distinction. Thank you, Catherine. Um, Richard, I'd like to hear from you, please. What's your score? Sure, my score was 77. Um, look, I've only got good things to say about the image, so I've possibly been a little bit mean. Um, I love just the inside of who this man is, and going around the image, just all these, you know, the lawnmower sitting in there, and the the, the, dry, the washing machine or whatever's been converted into a table with the ornaments on top, but I particularly like the little squirrel who's um, almost a secondary portrait who's sticking his face out between the pot plants there. But So I'll, I'll, I'll definitely be coming up. Thank you, Richard. Um, Tony, would you like to comment? Yeah, I'm on 86. Um, I'll probably be coming up a couple of points. The, the print quality of this is just superb. Um, you know, the the blacks just aren't too overdone. It's just sort of quite grey and sort of slightly mundane in a way. It sort of just signifies his old age and his life. But yeah, just the, the lovely lines just running through this and his scuffed shoes. 
and just his, his whole life in that um, sunny room. So, yeah, and, you know, even the, the depth of field dropping out of the plants, I even quite like that on the on the right-hand side. So, yeah, Thank good you. silver distinction. Thank you, Tony. I neglected to read out the title um, before you guys uh, uh, carry on. It was um, The title was Conservatory of Tre Treasures, Conservatory of Treasures. Um, any more comments before I go back to Catherine? Catherine? I think we've said it all really. This is a very, very sophisticated piece of communication. Thank you. Thank you, judges. Three scores, sitting on 81. Some damn good talk going on there because it's gone up to a silver distinction at 87. Very good. <laughs> Next print, please. This print is entitled, Aging Rocker Enjoys the Show. The caption reads, um, our promotional material for client, documentary, candid style uh, images from um, Beer Music Festival, taken from back of stage while the Knacks were playing. So we're now we've got another sequence here. Um, can we have a blank screen, please? wants to win $15,000 worth of cannon equipment? Oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, and Mike would. Uh, <laughs> um, 7 p.m. tonight, Chad 6, free entry. Um, it's all about pursuing your personal photo project. So have a good think about what your personal photo project is. And this print's popped back so we can score it. Print score is 74, and I think we're probably all happy with that. That's a good high uh, professional standard. Um, can we have a comment, please? Um, Catherine? Um, I like the title here, Aging Rocker Enjoys the Show. He really is enjoying it. Um, for me, what stopped me taking this to an award standard was that I just kept heading off to the right there. The other dude, where well, there's just really nothing happening, and it, it, it killed the... Uh, the sense of urgency for me. A square crop, maybe, would have been cool. Thanks, Catherine. Next print, please. This one has a title. It's called Rest. Time, please, judges. Print score is 78. We're happy there? Uh, no, we're not. Tony. Tony, uh, you do have the right to challenge, so yeah. what was your score? Yeah, so I'm on 83. Um, I think there's just such a very direct story to this. Um, you know, this, this 
person on the street, you know, the angst in his face, and compositionally, I think this is beautiful, and just, you know, that, that walking stick just turned back towards him. So everything sort of folds inwards, and I just love those two lines running through, um, you know, joining the edge of the frame to the man. I think it's very beautifully seen and put together. Love that roll of his sleeve and everything. You just you can just feel the pain. Um, so I think it's, it's it's a good silver. Thanks, Tony. Mike. Sorry, I missed the first part of that conversation. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I'm coming up to a silver. Thanks. Good comment. Okay. Um, anybody else like to talk? I don't want, oh, Richard. Eel on 80, and I'll come up a little bit more with Tony. Um, so because I, as I sit here looking as well, I almost see this as a portrait of... I'm starting to see two individuals here. I see the man who's no doubt exhausted and, and head in his hands here, but I also... I don't know, it's probably just me, but I, I see a figure, I see a face in that stick as well. It's almost like a, a, a bird to me who's, who's sitting there looking straight at him, ready, ready, ready to move when he is sort of thing. But... Um, yeah, they just added a little there for me, so I thought I'd add that in. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> Back to you, Tony. Yeah, I'd like to see if we can get this up to um, silver distinction, actually, because it, it, it does, that walking stick almost does talk to the person, and it's just such a simple story, and it's fairly hard to criticise as well, so, you know, what are we taking points away for? Um, but it's just got that really streety feel. But yeah, like what Richard says, it's it's almost another world with that 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 cane and what you can read into that pointing inwards. So let's let's give this a, an 86 or an 87, guys, if we can. Good talking, Tony. Let's uh, rescore it. It's sitting on 78. Exciting time for the author. And it was an exciting time for the author because it's gone up to 86. Silver Stixon. Well done, you guys. Um, which we'll accept. Um, can we have a blank screen, please? Um, Catherine, can you step down? And um, Jackie, can you come back to the um, judging panel, please? Um, we are locked in. Let's have the next print, please. This one is called Dads on Duty. Score's 80, average of 4, but there's uh, a very definite auto challenge there from um, Selena. Yeah, I had a feeling that um, this would end up in a challenge. I actually scored this 95, the gold distinction. Um, and the reason for that is because the narrative in this is incredible. This is a modern family and chaos. This is... You know, the, well, the cats are asleep, the mouse, mice will play. Um, and a, a, I have four children and they get up to so much mischief when you turn a blind eye for all of a second. And that, this is depicting that and it's depicting that in a beautiful way. There's, you know, there's, you can see there's the three children in there and they're all up to, they're all up to mischief. And I think the one, the one child that's really got me is the one that's hidden because it actually 
shares that narrative in that you don't know what they're up to. And these dads are fast asleep on the couch. Either they're completely blasé to what is happening in their house. Um, either they don't care, either they're exhausted because these three children are running them ragged. So I think there's some really strong narrative in this and the fact that it's been captured the way that it has with all of those um, elements. Um, every, there's so much to see in this and, and so much story and I, I really think it, it deserves more than a silver. Um, thank you, Richard. Um, yes, Selena, I, I um, get all those things you're saying and I appreciated it for the same reasons. Um, I guess, I think for me to come higher, I was looking more in terms of some expression maybe in those faces or there's, there is so much story there about, you know, while, while the dads are asleep, these kids are getting up to the mischief. Um, but I just found there was nothing to move me within the children in terms of expression, and I think that would have brought it up. Um, I was 78, and I think some, something a bit extra would have pulled me into that silver range, um, but no, definitely not gold, I'm afraid. Tony? Yeah, from back here, I enjoyed the chaos. I'm on 73, I'll, I'll come up and do early silver. Um, th my initial problem was the, the, ki the kids in the cabinet there were just like way out of focus, and I know docos can work well with like that, but I, I found that a, a little bit hard to look at. But then the guy on the couch at the back is just pretending to be asleep because his arm is stuck way up in the air. Nobody sleeps with your arm suspended in the air naturally. So, so that sort of just sort of went, oh, well, this is just feeling a little bit staged for, for my liking for that. So, so it's just those points there that if, if you can explain those to me, um, I'll come higher. Uh, Jackie? Yeah, just, just justifying my, my 76, and I, there's, a, there's a foot coming out of that girl's head at the back and a, and a foot leg coming out of her mouth. Uh, maybe there would have been other moments when that girl moved around the room and she looks like she's about to cut her finger. She's looking, not looking at what she's doing. There were some things that were disturbing me and that empty space of the carpet was pulling my eye. Yeah. Thanks, Jackie. Mike? Yeah, as a social... I gave this uh, 80... Seven. 87. Uh, yeah, I sort of, it's a social documentary for me. It's not a staged thing, it's a found thing. It's, it's a record of a moment in time. It's not, there is no perfection in this. It's all about, uh, a friend of mine says regularly, uh, imperfections in perfection. And there's lots of imperfections in here that make it work. Uh, the feeling of staging with the elbow, uh, look, you could be so passed out that you wouldn't know, you know. It's one of those things of you don't have to justify elements like that because they can happen. Just because they don't normally happen doesn't mean to say it's not real. I uh, love the diagonal that's uh, formed across the, the carpet with the, the bags. There's, there's shapes happening in here that you find. Um, they're not obvious. Uh, the exploration of the mother on the right-hand side or the edge of frame, uh, all those things are they're there, but you have to find them. So it's subtle, and I love that subtlety, and I love the imperfections. Uh, it's a matter of not looking for what we normally expect to see. It's a matter of accepting what is, and I think that's its joy. Thank you, Mike. I think it's back to you, Selena. Yeah, Mike, um, you, you have um, expressed a lot of extra stuff that I didn't. Um, it's, Tony, you've never seen me sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place and, and some people are and, and when you're tired, when you're exhausted like that, you know, you don't care, you just lie how you lie. Um, and same thing with, you know, we are talking about social documentary, we, you know, we are, we are talking about a scene that has been captured. Um, I mean, the, the moment before this might have been more interesting, the moment after this might have been more interesting, but this is what we've been presented with. And it is, it's chaos. It, it tells a story of a family. It tells a story, you know, I mean, this is, could be a family portrait that these, will, these guys, these dads, will all completely love forever. Um, I just think that there's just so much into this. And, yeah, I really think it's um, deserved of, of more than an 80. Uh, if you can't get up to the gold range, um, at least a silver distinction. Thank you, Selena. Let's re-judge it. Um, please, folks. Sitting on 80. Oh, it's gone up to a silver distinction, so there was some good talking going on there. Well done, that uh, author.
Can we have a blank screen, please? Mike, can you take a little break? Um, we'll bring on um, Mandy, please. Tony, would you like to like, take a little break? We'll bring back Craig for just a, a little while. Thank you, Craig. Let's try to give all you guys a go about halfway through the category and you're doing great okay folks can we have the next print please Uh, there's no title on this print. No, there's no title or caption. Print scores 77, and Craig, would you like to challenge that? What's your score? I scored it right into the silver range, um, and I've scored it in, in the silver for a couple of reasons. Um, one, you can really start drawing uh, a narrative in this, and not only that, um, you get a glimpse of obviously somebody in behind, but it's also you almost get a silhouette. And you start building this story, is it a silhouette of a man or is it a silhouette of a woman? Because if you look at it as a silhouette of a woman, you can see, you almost start drawing a story of, you know, she's big breasted, you can see the, 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 the shadow that's drawn from the shirt. So you really start building that, that, that narrative in there. Not only that, uh, compositionally, it just flows extremely well from the reading from the right to the left so I, I you know gave it a silver uh, a 82 and I you know would love to see if there's anybody there with me and there's no one close Jack to me but um, thanks Craig Jackie mm -hmm. yeah I, I scored at 73 I, I found the color distracting and pulling pulling I could see your, the graphics you're discussing and and was trying to crop it down to cut, to cut away the brightness of the sky that was pulling my eye away. Um, it, it's a nice little decisive moment, to put up in the air, you know, I can feel all that, so you know, it'll probably come up, but I'm not sure about silver. Selena? Um, I'm with you, Craig, in terms of um, I understand all the things that you like about it, it's the things I liked about it as well. I think the, the row of clothes on the very bottom um, drew my eye down that direction and I, I think if they'd been able to capture that at the shirt beforehand um, you know, lost that, uh, that would have been even stronger narrative uh, I'm sitting on 77 and I'm, I'm listening I'm, I'm could be convinced to come up uh, and I think that that's, that that's where I'm sort of sitting at the moment I think it might be back to you Craig sum it up please The, 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 the luminosity to it and the brightness um, doesn't disturb me at all. It's a very high key style shot. So, um, you know, you, you know, yeah, I know. Everybody gets seduced by black and white. I, I get that. But, you know, when you, you throw that sense of color in there, you get that sense of realism as well. 
um, and in that moment. And um, uh, had you picked the frame before, there would have been you know two feet planted. You've got that sense of motion and movement in there. So I'm really you know um, highlighting that exploration and that and that decisive moment as Selena just mentioned. So I'd encourage you guys go up to a silver. Thank you, Craig. Let's rescore the print, please, judges. Can we make sure all the cell phones are turned off in the audience, please? Some good talking there. It's gone up to a silver 80. Thank you, judges. <laughs> Fabulous. Next print, please. There's no title on this print. Scores, please, judges. Sweating a new man, the print scores 76. Craig again. Uh, accepted Craig, uh, challenge Craig. Um, what's, what's your score? All right. I think I encourage you guys to actually have a real good close look at this. Um, if we if we look at it real quick, you go, okay, it doesn't it doesn't meet, make sense. But then when you start thinking about culture, we start talking about religion. We start looking at the fact that the lady it's a it's a Jewish couple. Um, the lady's walking behind the man. Okay. So when you start drawing that conclusion, and then all of a sudden. The next frame, the other woman is walking in front, and this other lady, who, who is the wife, goes, looks over, like, what are you doing walking in front of him? So you start drawing this, this essence of um, male dominance, um, religious connotations, and it starts drawing this extra little bit of narrative in there. And I think it was a bit, it's almost an image that you would be a bit too shy to score it in that silver range. So uh, I went with the bold move, scored it exactly where I think it sits as an 83, a beautiful two-shot two, two shot series, which really draws that narrative and story. Can I hear from Selena and then Mandy, please? Um, I, I got that um, impression from, as well, Craig. Um, what has brought me down, I'm, I'm scored this a 70, but what's brought me down is this is out of, actually out of order. So that second image came before the first image. Um, and if you have a look at the way that the, the windows are, the way that they sit, you can see that third window in the first frame at the top is actually the third window on the other side. So unless they're walking backwards, <laughs> um, that is, that's what I've struggled with. I, like the, I do like the narrative, and if I'd been presented simply maybe with a tighter crop to, to hide that, um, that's a different story, um, but that's, that's probably what has really pulled me back. Thanks, Selena, Mandy. It, it's a cultural assumption. That is the way you read in Western, but if you read from a Jewish or a Yiddish, you go the other way. So this is actually making you think, because as photographers, we look at it and we go, wait, that's backwards, but it's backwards to us because we don't understand the culture. So this discussion has absolutely nailed that, and you're absolutely right, I was chicken, I was going, oh, I don't know, I just want to, but I didn't go 80, but I will go. I'll follow you there. Absolutely. There's a lot being said with this two frames. Richard? Okay, I think we're exploring around a matrix. 
So we're back the front. But if we do, even if we look at this back the front, that woman has not sped up and passed. So I, I don't think that uh, Craig's story at the beginning can, can, it can still take heed here. Um, this is getting complicated now. <laughs> um, but yes, it, even if, it, no matter what order you, you look at those images, and like it, if you put them in an order from, so that they, if, if we put it on a time scale, they're walking down the street, the, the woman has not sped up. They've caught her up. Thank you, Richard. Uh, Jackie, no, you're not going to risk this, Jackie? <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just think it's a, a deadpan moment of people walking down the street. It's not really giving me a lot of emotion. It's not, a, it's not something unique. Um, the Silver Range is still, you're only just asking for you know, something that's, that, that we haven't seen before. And, and uh, my, my, my feelings were that it was felt like a historical sort of photograph, and that's what I really liked about it to bring it into the Bronze Era. But, but I, the, I'm feeling that, that the blacks and the, they're all merging with the tree on the, one, the, the picture on the left. There's a, there's a sense of um, a messiness of that, that moment. Um, it's not really giving me any, any big story that I haven't seen before. Yep. That's, that's where I was. Thank you, Jackie. Well, some explaining there to do. Um, Craig, sort them out. Sort them out. Um, <laughs> Yeah, look, uh, I, I hear what you're saying, Richard, um, but I think, uh, you know, the, that narration and, uh, you know, the left frame, the, the lady's actually dropping backwards or the, the, the couple's actually moving a lot faster to make sure that the woman is behind, you know? So I, I'm just reading that, some of that, that connotation and, and, and that stereotype um, and that, that religious cultural aspect. So I rewarded that photographer for really being bold to put two frames in something that you would say that's a deadpan and, and just, yeah, so let's score it into silver. There you go, guys. It's over to you. Um, sitting on 76, uh, Craig would like to see it going to the silver range. Don't give me a 79. <laughs> you know you're going to get it now. Yeah. yeah. No, you didn't. You gave me a 78. Okay, that's fine. We'll accept that. It's gone up one point. It's a good strong bronze there. So I'm sure they also will be very pleased with the debate. Um, so we'll accept that. Um, um, can we uh, can we have a blank screen just for a minute, please? Um, just for everybody's benefit at home and um, everywhere else. Um, we are, of course, judging the documentary category, and it's sponsored by Sony. Where would we be without our sponsors? Definitely not here. Um, we love them to bits. Um, thank you, judges. Can we have our next print, please? I'm just stepping in for Terry for a few <coughs> minutes. So the caption, f oh, the title for this image is a Stray Cat in Temple Offering Bowl. Thank you, judges, and we have a score of 73. And we will accept that. Can I have a comment from a judge, please? Jackie. Thank you. Uh, to bring this into the next scoring range, I think we need that, that little cat to be interacting with that environment in some way and telling us more of a story about where, how, why, what. Thank you. And can we have the next print, please?
This, um, there is a title, and it is called Remembering Her. No caption. Remembering Her. Thank you, judges. And we have a score of 75. Bronze award. Thank you. And can I have a comment from Selena, please? Uh, I think... I think this had uh, some potential, um, but I'm not sure that it was the right moment captured. Um, a little bit of cropping would have certainly helped it, particularly from that right-hand side. Thank you. Good comments. Next print, please. And this one has a title called Loneliness and Joy in a Vietnamese Orphanage. And the caption reads, the far-reaching multi-generational effects of Agent Orange in Vietnam has led to millions of orphans. Harrowing scenes are abundant in the orphanages, but amidst the humanitarian injustice, tremendous kindness arises. A selfless volunteer brings the greatest gift imaginable, joy. Ooh, exciting. 88. And immediately we've got a, uh, um, an ele uh, elective challenge from Craig. Score, please, Craig. 93, Gold Award. Um, we're in the documentary category, and when in documentary you need to try to tell a story and a narrative in a single capture and there is a, there's two stories here there's a story of utter pity and 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 remorse and um, sadness on the left hand side you've got then on the right hand side you've got this utter, utter joy kids laughing you've got love that's going on um, in the bottom right hand corner um, and then you've got the, f the fellow who's got no love and no life. Um, if you look at it compositionally, it just reads just from this, even from the bottom right hand corner, you, you, you see the utter joy of, of the, the, the lady and, and the boy, and then the other boy is, you know, circumferenced in right back in, and it points right into the, to the sadness. And then you, you know, there, you, you just can't stop reading this image in, in, in the gold. And that's where I'm, I'm sitting very, very comfortably in the gold for this. Richard, can we have a comment from you, please? Yeah, um, everything that you said, Craig. Um, it's a beautiful narrative, and it, there are some wonderful things happening in this image. And I guess I was, I was, I scored 83, and I was held back purely because I was quite uncomfortable with the, way, the composition and the way it had been cropped. Um, I just found everything cut very close or nicked you know, the toes of, of the, the person on the left and um, straight up the leg of the woman on the right um, through to the knee and the, the foot at the top of the image there and I guess that's, that's one of the things that held me back but I'm, I'm quite keen to hear other people's opinions on that. Have we got no? No one else would like to comment on it. Well, uh, Mandy? 
I was at 88, and I was initially held back because I thought this was a composition of two images together, but then on closer observation, I realized it was actually a frame taken over the top. And in one frame, they were able to tell such an exquisite story. So I'm, I'm heading there with you. Thank you, Mandy. Take it home. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's son. 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 Selena. Yeah, um, I'm with Craig on 90. I'm in the gold range. And I think, I, I think I've been actually chicken on this. I should have gone higher. Um, I'm, I'm physically and emotionally moved by this because, uh, you know, this, this tells so much story of, 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 of pain and love and joy. There's multiple emotions being expressed in this. That circular story that Craig was talking about it just keeps taking me round the image. And, and, I, and I thought about, should, I, should it have been cropped from the left? But no, because then that tells the story, it goes into the emptiness, into the sadness that we're not seeing and, and then brings us back into the joy of, of this volunteer and, and what she's doing and the work that she's doing and, and the, the happiness that she's providing to these, these children. The, the crop, um, the feet and everything, it's shot from above and unless you've, when you shoot a lot like that, unless you've got an extremely wide angle lens on it, it's really hard to get a lot in frame um, and, and the cropping can be quite difficult, like the, the composition to capture can be quite difficult. But this says it all, I don't necessarily think that you need the toes, I don't necessarily think that you need the leg, I, I think that it's all there, it tells us what we need to, to know and it's, it's powerful and I really think it, uh, yeah, it definitely deserves the gold if not higher. Thanks Selena, take it home, Craig. That's the power of an image, single capture, tells a thousand words. The cropping and the framing gives us that sense of tension. So it helps uh, create that extra authenticity of, of tension. You're shooting from above. You don't have, when you shoot in documents, you don't have that time. So I'm asking for, for gold, and we're looking at, uh, if I even look at the gold distinction, you know, exceptional vision, creativity, innovation, um, you know, the. It's, it's got all that in spades. So, as Selena said, maybe we could even go even higher um, and, yeah, take all the comments on board. Thanks, Craig. Let's rescore it then. Sitting on 88, that's a uh, silver distinction. We have a gold at 92. Thank you, judges. Great debate. Um, can we have the next print, please? This is entitled Fishing for Plastic. Fishing for Plastic. Um, thank you, judges. Uh, this print score is 68. <coughs> I'm pretty happy with that, I think. So uh, we'll take a comment, please, Jackie. Yeah. Uh, uh, to make this this image stronger, it's probably getting in closer to that foreground and making us see the real, the plastic, finding a foreground that's that, that's dynamic and and will then pull our eye through the composition. Thank you, Jackie. Um, can we have a blank screen, please? Blank screen, please. Mike, can you replace Jackie, please? <coughs> and um, Catherine, can you replace Selena, please? Thank you both, um, Jackie and Selena, for your commentary and your wonderful judging. 
take a little break. Okay, we're good to go. Our next sprint, please. Okay, this one has a caption, first woman to win uh, an NZ Super Sport 600 title. Caption is Avalon Biddle. This year became the first woman ever to win a national super sport title in New Zealand, beating over 20 riders in an all male classic. Class. I'm sorry, in an all male class. Print scores 71, high professional standard. We'll take a comment, please, from Catherine. I felt that the series wasn't really put together compositionally um, well enough to take it into a bronze award. There's some cracker shots in there, and I love the way the photographer has taken a whole heap of different angles and, you know, uh, focal lenses. Le you know what I mean, focal lengths. But... Um, there are some very similar images and I kind of drop out the side on some of them and I just I just feel that overall the, the composition and the relationship between the nine isn't strong enough. Thanks Catherine. Next print please. Alone again. Scores, please, judges. We have an initial score eighty, majority three. We, no, um, we're not happy with that. So <coughs> possibly a challenge from Mandy, who's taking it up. What was your score, Mandy? My score was an 87. I, I saw this as a silver distinction. It, it, there are so many layers of narrative that you can read into this, and that is the key for me in something that, that is of that award level. You see a woman that could potentially have just lost her partner or she scared one off due to the background. It's a, it's, it is a study and she's got a big old bottle of wine there. You can read so many layers of, of pain and, and aggression in this one shot. And I feel that that in itself, that narrative quality deserves a serious amount of consideration by us. Thank you, Mandy. Craig? I think this uh, um, speaks to me, uh, uh, it's contrived. It's very set up and staged. Um, there's things just, it, it, it looks like a completely staged environment. Um, if it was in, I shouldn't make that reference, but if it was in the portrait category, I'd be right, right there with you, because you can stage it. But in documentary, you gotta document in situ. Um, and it just seems very, very contrived and very staged. So that's why, I look, unfortunately, yeah, I scored it a 64 as professional standard, but yeah, I can't see it any higher. 
Uh, Mike, then Richard. Yeah, saying it's a setup is, a, is an assumption. Um, I'm not prepared to make that assumption. In fact, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm quite privileged to be the fly on the wall that's allowed to be entered into this area. Um, it's quite a serious thing saying that uh, it's, it's a setup, especially given the circumstances. We don't know, so it has to be an assumption. Um, I'm not making that assumption. I'm accepting it as being, I've been allowed to view this person's loss and loneliness and I'm reading that as real. I have no reason not to. And by having that, that privilege of vision makes me feel as if I'm looking at something more as a distinction. So I'm going still with distinction. Thank you for your comments, Mike. Richard. Um, look, I'm not going to assume either, but I am going to say that I am struggling between the title alone again and what's actually presented in front of me on that table. Um, I'm seeing two plates with cutlery. There's no food on them. So I'm gathering she's, there's either, she's possibly just finished her meal and whoever was sitting at the table has finished theirs too. There's a glass of wine there for two people um, and whoever's missing from that table has left their cell phone and wallet behind. So I'm, I'm, not, I, I'm, I'm struggling to grasp the story that you guys are. Um, and unless, of course, the photographer's at the table having a meal with them and has stood back and taken the photo, but I possibly would have removed my iPhone charger and cable, etc., before I did so. so. Yeah, Catherine. Maybe he's gone hunting, and he's an irresponsible hunter who's left his cell phone behind. Mandy? <laughs> Wrap it up, please. It we are going to assume that this happened. And it could be that she has a character that is so disturbing that somebody has just flipping left her. She's alone again. It could have been that somebody stormed off. It could be her daughter that was sitting next to her and she mouthed off and she said, I can't handle this anymore, and she left. There are so many ways that you could read this and, it, and you have to assume that this was it because it has been entered in this category, so we're assuming the integrity of the author that this was a scene moment. And if this was a scene moment, and there's, you've heard all of us debate what is going on there, the emotion, the power, that's silver distinction range. I'm not asking for gold, but I'm asking for silver distinction. This deserves a 60, or sorry, a, a, an 86 or an 87. Thank you. Thank you, Mandy. Um, let's rescore that, judges. Sitting on 80, majority is three at the moment. Let's see what the debate has achieved. It's achieved another three points. Good, strong silver there. Thank you for the debate. <laughs> Can we have a bank screen, please? Richard. Time to have a little rest. Thank you. Thank you for your comments and your judging. Replaced by Tony Carter. We'll also take the opportunity to um, swap out our Australian judges. Melissa, can you take Craig's place? Craig, well done. Great debate there. Thank you for your time on the panel. And we welcome back Melissa. Thank you, judges. Let's have the next print, please. <coughs> this one is titled Editors, Assistants, Assistant. Editors, Assistant.
Time, please, judges. achieved a score of 80 there and we have a uh, elective challenge which Catherine would like to take up. What was your score Catherine? I gave this 88 silver distinction. What a humorous clever image. Um, it's got depth you can't argue with that. <laughs> um, I love the story here so this photographer has got this little pet possum and they've been trying to edit the wedding. You go back in time, it's a bit like going through time machine on your Mac, isn't it? You go back. They were editing their wedding and the little possum sitting there in their blanket. They've taken a photograph of that. The possum is still there, has just been moved to the front there and um, has been given a little bit of food. You see it's holding a wee bit of food in its claws just to keep it happy there. Um, there's so much story. It's really clever. Your eye just goes round and round and right back into it. I haven't seen anything like this. I'm re rewarding originality, and I see I'm not alone up here. So thanks. We'll look forward thanks to hearing from you. Thanks, Catherine. Tony? Yeah, I'm on 73. I'll be coming up. But I did feel like I was judging the student category or something because it doesn't really feel <laughs> documentary to me. Um, but I am listening, and it's probably a, a bit more of a contemporary take on it maybe. So, But, yeah, I'm definitely li listening. Tony, Melissa? I'm also in the distinction area. I think what I particularly enjoy about this image is that I feel that I am being sucked in. And, you know, and, and I feel this way often when I sit in front and I'm editing. You know, you just, you travel to the back of that image. And then we have all these reminders in the foreground from, you know, the, the utensils of scissors through to the possum at the bottom, through to the family images at the top to try and create a separation between what we get immersed in as photographers and then bringing us back into that present moment. So I see this as a very sophisticated piece of communication um, and I would love to see it up in silver distinction also. Thank you, Melissa. Anyone else? Otherwise, we're back to Catherine. Um, yeah, I think we do, um, Tony, need to accept that we're, you know, we are told to, um, <coughs> excuse me, accept that these images have met the criteria for the category. So this is a, a straight documentary image, and um, I think it's a very, very strong one. So 88. Thanks, Catherine. Um, it's open for you to rescore, please, judges. Sitting on 80. Well, that's a silver distinction at 87. Well done. <laughs> Next print, please. Uh, title on this print is Touch. even scoring there at 72. Good um, high professional standard. Thank you judges. Comment please. Um, Melissa. I think to bring this up into the next scoring range, um, potentially show us a little bit more as to what's going in. I would have loved to have just been moved to the right a little bit more so I could see the expression and the engagement and, um, and, and feel a little bit more connected to the image. Thank you Melissa. Next print please. This has a title. Um, 
pigeons in, pa in Paris. It's actually with pigeons in Paris. Thank you. An average of 85 silver distinction. And we have a challenge for Mandy. What was your score, Mandy? I scored this a 90. Um, yes, OK. So for me, this is a Cartier-Bresson moment. It is, look at how it's been framed, the face up in the upper right-hand corner matching the light post. It's been so well seen and caught at that exact moment. She's at her, I mean, it <laughs> Just the moment here is comedic. We've all seen it with our kids. And, and the fact that they've done it in such a beautiful, aligned way, I, I, and to have caught it just then, that's what I'm rewarding. I'm seeing, I'm seeing gorgeous, gorgeousness here. I want to hear what you're not saying. Thank you, Melissa. I scored this at 81 in the silver category. Um, I'm certainly listening. Um, I don't know whether I'm at gold yet, but um, I'm certainly happy to come up. Um, thank you for pointing out that uh, the light, because I didn't actually see that until now, and that's, you know, that that is pretty phenomenal. That balance. Um, I, one of the the challenges, I guess, I looked at is I would have I would have loved a little bit more um, printing detail and print quality in some of the area, because the moment is beautiful. Um, but I'm certainly listening. Thank you, Melissa. Mm, oh, Tony's decided he's going to say something. Yeah, I've woken up. So I'm on 87. Yeah, I'm going up into gold. Um, print quality, I'm not too bothered. I think it's okay. But the thing is, is the connection. You know, all the connections are there. Um, you know, through from the mum to the man, you know, holding whatever he's, he's doing there. And just the girl's reaction is just amazing. But yeah, everything's just interconnected. And, and just those, those outward lines, um, you know, the man with the cigarette, you know, looking down to that top left-hand corner, as Mandy was saying, I, I think this is a gold, beautiful moment, and, yeah, just, just stunning. Thank you, Tony. I think it's back to you, Mandy. Can you wrap it up, please? Right, <laughs> sorry, that threw me. Um, so look at the V, look at the leading lines. This is documentary, to have caught that in that exact moment and have that level of vision where you can see all of that and, and present it. And, and it was so beautifully seen and anticipated. <laughs> and it's got humor in it. You, I mean, how much do you, <laughs> we don't necessarily always reward humor with a gold, it's usually the, the deep, you know, painful heartstrings that we would work with the gold. But this has got that decisive moment, and it's funny. So let's give funny a gold for once, for goodness sake. So I'm asking for at least a 90, guys. Thank you, judges. Sitting on 85, exciting time for the author. Need a bit of a drum roll on this one. <laughs> you did it, guys. 91. Well done. <laughs> Just love to see that sort of thing happening. Um, can we have a blank screen, please? Yeah. Catherine, thank you for your input. Um, Jackie, would you like to step back in, please? Good to go. Say the next print, please. This is untitled, this print. Uh, 
I have a score of 77. Why not, Melissa? Indeed, why not? What was your score? I scored this at 82, and I really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the juxtaposition, the contrast. I enjoyed uh, the duplexity of this image. Uh, you know, that we have this uh, background with obviously all of these people uh, and we have this relationship. And when I first saw it, I wondered, is it a relationship to the dog? Uh, why we included this? I, I just felt there was, uh, there was a, a humanity that was brought to, to this image of a person sitting there and, and worshipping from a distance with a dog. And, it, and it, it, it just felt very honest and very simple and, um, and quiet. And, uh, and yeah, I'd love to chat about it. Um, let's go to um, maybe Mandy. Would you like to respond? For me, I, I struggled with the disconnection. That I went up thinking, oh, that would be a really interesting connection with the dog, but it wasn't there. And then you can't see who he's connecting with. So for me, I, it left too many questions and not enough connection to go higher. Thanks, Mandy. Uh, Mike. I gave the 78, so obviously I think it's worthy of uh, an award. Uh, but I am confused. I, I don't see it as praying. I don't see it as a salutation to the dog. I don't even see the, the arm as a shade of uh, light onto the eye. So I'm sort of visually confused about a story. Uh, Melissa, I think we'll go back to you. And I think that's, that's what I enjoy about this image. I enjoy that it raises these questions, that I can see that there's relationships, but I have to actually search for it. I, I enjoy that it challenges me in that way. I enjoy the light. I enjoy the different dimensions to this image and the questions that it raises. And, um, and, and, and I'm rewarding that for, for, for making me think and intriguing me. Thank you, Melissa. That's free score. Sitting on 77. Melissa would like to see it in the silver range. And we're about to find out whether that's going to happen. It hasn't. But it is a strong bronze, and it's always worth a try. Thank you so much. Can we have a blank screen, please? Yeah, I think so. Um, just changing people around a little bit, keep it fresh. Um, Mandy, take a break. And Selena, can you come back on for a little while, please? Thank you, judges. Um, we'll have the next print, please. Um, this one has a title, um, Strength of a Young Girl C. Sister and brother play on the stony beach, north of Napier, drawing pictures in the sand. I'm sorry, the, yeah, it's um, strength of a girl commissioned. C is commissioned, of course. I thought it had something to do with the water. Okay. Uh, we have a score of 71. I think we're probably happy with that, judges. Thank you. We'll accept it. Can we have a comment, please? Um, Selena. Yeah, um, I think this needs a little bit more story. Um, it, it doesn't quite have enough to it. It's a great shot of... It. We don't quite get what she's doing, so, yeah. Thank you very much. Next print, please. That's right. Uh, this is entitled Night Food Market. Night Food Market.
principle is 71. Thank you, judges. Uh, let's take a comment from um, Melissa, please. An interesting location. I would have liked to have seen uh, a little bit more of a decisive moment, so um, to be able to bring me in and, and draw me into the subjects in the background. Thank you, Melissa. Next point, please. Folks, um, got my cursor in the way. Um, goodbye, Nana. Print score is 79, and um, we're going to have to make a decision on this anyway. Um, so at the moment, uh, we've got a couple of people in the silver range which who would like to take it on and talk about it. Tony? You were one point away, I'm on 83, um, and I have support. Yeah, so. Um, the I'll address the, the poor print quality first because I think that's really what's letting it down. Um, so, so yeah, it's very very muddy, um, which is unfortunate. But you know that the, the connection here, you know, with the the girl with her her grandmother, and how grandma's out of focus, her hands out of focus, so you're directed back up to the girl's face. So I really enjoy that, and I think that's you know you know great thought by the photographer to control that. And even in, you know when your eye rolls around and you see that you know grandma's got her Christmas present in the coffin with her, you know it's hard not to to pick up on the emotion there. So that's what I'm re uh, rewarding it for for the emotional content, and I think it's a, a silver. Um, Selena, would you like to comment, please? Yeah, I scored this a 74, and I really wanted to go higher with it. Um, the print quality was, yeah, that's really what killed it for me. Uh, you know, it took away from the emotion. It took away from the story. Um, and, you know, those blacks are just so blocked up. It's so tightly cropped on the, that bottom. Um, you know, like if, if the author's listening, or the photographer's listening, or if even if they're in the room, and I, I would love to talk to you about how you could have done better with this um, in terms of processing and printing. So please come and see me if you're around. Thank you. We'll go to Mike and then Melissa, please. I gave it the 77 um, because I actually think it's worthy of, of an award of some type because the content is what really is important. Uh, the print quality stops it going where it should, should have gone, but it still has the content. And I think if we if we focus on that instead of the the, the technical things, I, th I think we should still give it an award. Thank you, Mike. Melissa? I actually like the print quality. <laughs> um, I like the cropping. Uh, this is a woman in an open coffin. It feels appropriate that it is cropped and we feel hemmed in and it feels that there is tension with the room, within the room. There is a, a tension between the darkness in the foreground and that depth of loss and grief. And then we're distracted by all of these brighter elements of the living with chairs and life and pictures and chaos. And we are, we are asked as judges to choose between what is the moment here and here is this little girl, which is probably the, the least important uh, person in this overall scene who was brought in here through darkness, through grief, and connected with this beautiful intimate moment of touching through the hair. So to me, I actually find this is not 
this is not an image that is that is romantic. This is not an image that has beautiful tones. This is a, a busy environment of a wake and a little girl connecting, and 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 I enjoy that choice, or I don't enjoy, but. I feel that I'm being compelled to make a choice as to what I see and what I take and what I choose. So um, I'm, I'm in silver as well and I'd like to see it there. Thank you, Melissa. We'll come back to you, Tony, for summing up, please. Yeah, it's, it's all been said. Let's just see if we can squeak it over the line with silver, guys. Sitting on 79. And we did it. It's an 82 silver. Well done. <laughs> we sorted that one out. So we'll accept that. Next print, please. Now, this next print is entitled Playful Deer After the Rain. And the caption reads Well, deer, after a torrent of downpour, frolic in Nara Park. They have their sights on the next tourist they may be able to steal some food from. Okay, you all agreed that this should be a, uh, a bronze at 78. Thank you, judges. Um, um, Tony, Com this is a comment. No, it's oh, sorry, you're challenging it. Oh, yeah. you are challenging it. Yeah. You're on 88. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm on 88. Um, sort of with this sanction. To me, it almost feels like a, a, an Aboriginal type feel, etching type thing. I thought I'd appeal to a couple of our judges here from over the ditch. But yeah, I, I think um, I love the edge-to-edge -edge tension. I think that's where it's really at and, and just the, the chalky nature of it and just how these how these animals are sort of all interrelated inter in there to the edges of the image. There's that, just that fine separation of the face off the back of the front animal and then just the crossing over the legs. So you've just got all of that tension and then the, the, you can just sort of feel that pull, it's just been printed to a very high standard, unusual for a, a documentary image, and yeah, it's, it's just it's just a different um, level of, that we've been given here. So Thanks, Tony. Chucky, you weren't quite up there with Tony, were you? Yeah, I was on 73 because I was a bit confused about this being in the documentary category and then the caption with a, with a comment about looking for their next food and, and I couldn't see any of those elements within this within this photograph. Uh, but I, I do like the composition and, and the tones and all that kind of thing. So, yeah, but more, more in the bronze area, high bronze now. But Thanks, Jackie. Mike? Again, the 76, I'm definitely going up into silver, uh, mainly because it's just a beautiful image for no other reason. Thanks, Mike. Um, Selena? Yeah, I'll definitely be coming up. I saw this as quite a, um, almost a double, ex double exposure, but not a double exposure. Um, it, it's got some beautiful detail and it's nice and sharp throughout. So uh, I, I definitely think, yeah, I'll definitely be coming up. Thank you, judges. I think we're back to you, Donnie. Yeah, it is, it is a really hard image to judge in this section, but, you know, um, it's been cleared and everything, so it's a documentary image in, in, a, in a very contemporary way. So I'd love to see it get up to silver with distinction if we can, guys. Thank you, Tony. Let's rescore it. It's sitting on 78. I love this stuff. 85, silver distinction.
great debate, judges. Can we have the next print, please? This is entitled, Goodbyes. Goodbyes. Pretty unanimous giving this a 74. That's a good, strong professional practice. Can we have a comment, please, from Tony? Yeah, I, th I think the communication is sort of in the center of the picture rather than the whole room is not really adding to it. So, yeah, it's so strong, you know, the, the communication in the middle and even with the dog, but everything else is nearly irrelevant. Thanks, Tony. Can we have the next print, please? print is entitled Kissing Cousins, Kissing Cousins. And um, Jackie's just stepping out. And um, Rit uh, Richard, maybe you'd like to pop in for a moment? Thank you. Seventy-five. Just sneak to the old bronze award there. Thank you, judges. Um, can we have a comment, please, uh, Melissa? Yeah, there's an interesting story that's happening here. I'd look a little bit with your print quality. Um, we obviously look at your brightest elements, so look towards the left of the frame. I found I was constantly being drawn into that image, so uh, into that um, painting in the background. Thank you, Melissa. We are, of course, um, judging the documentary category. Highly sponsored by Sony. We've got to love our sponsors because we wouldn't be here without them. Okay, I uh, would like the next print, please. Scores, please, judges. Printed scoring 86. Very happy to keep happy there. It's a happy place. Thank you, judges. Um, we'll accept that. And um, can, can we have a comment from uh, Mike, please? I think the lighting. Uh, the, the whole shape of the image and what's in it is, is great, but a lower angle would have made it more dynamic and led our eye to the subjects um, better. Thank you, Mike. That's fantastic. Um, just a little note here. There is a cell phone that's been found in the a lady's toilet. Um, whoever's phone it is, if they could contact um, Simone. Um, and she would like to know what picture is on the screen. 
Oh, there we are. Um, <laughs> go and collect yourself. Um, can we have the next print, please? Uh, there's no title on this print. Thank you, judges. Uh, we have a score of 67. Thank you so much. Can we have a comment, please? Mike. A strong foreground would really help us. Thanks, Mike. Uh, can we have a blank screen, please? <laughs> OK, uh, Mike, take a little break. Thank you very much. Um, we'll bring. Um, Catherine Cadillac back on, please. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Catherine. Next print, please. Okay, this one has a, uh, a title. It's Knees Deep in Hokey, um, Sky Full of Birds. Um, the caption reads, Annual Report, Image Library for, for a Client, Documentary Candid Style with Images of Their People and Work, Taken Aboard a Hokey Trawler in Cook Strait. Wanted to give a sense of the overwhelming um, stimulation of all the senses in a scene like this. And the print scores 71. Thank you, judges. That's uh, high professional practice, and we'd like a comment from Tony. Yeah, if you're knee deep in hokey, want to see more hokey. That's it. Uh, next print, please. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. There is a caption. I do beg your pardon. I got distracted. Um, it's called Take Your Marks. Take Your Marks. Um, and there is a little bit more to it here. Um, Greytown School uh, Swimming Sports. Thank you. Judges, um, scores, please. Wow. Okay. We have an 88 average of four judges, but we also have a uh, challenge from Melissa. Oh, from, sorry. Uh, it is Melissa, of course. Yeah. Um, I gave That's this. Catherine, sorry. Yeah, Catherine. Sorry, Catherine. Yeah. Um, I gave this a 93, and obviously we're fighting for the challenge, so I'm not alone here. Um, what a what a great little shot! You just read across it, and you're rewarded with every single person. There are a lot of kids in this photo. Um, there are a lot of different stances, a lot of different stories. Um, for me, the little girl in the black towards the right there is probably. Uh, my key point, you know, she's just holding her hands up to her mouth and, oh my gosh, please, please, please. But then the one on the right of her standing up there holding her crotch like she's about to wet herself with excitement. 
there's so much humour, and then you've got the ones just practising their stances, the wee girl on the right with the arms out, ready to fly. Um, beautifully presented, loving this uh, panoramic crop going edge to edge. We've got a creativity there. It's just a really, really strong capture all the way through, and uh, yeah, gold. Thank you for that. Um, oh, Tony, let's hear from you. Where yeah, are I've you? Been, I've been adjusted. And, um, <laughs> you have, haven't you? And rightfully so. Um, yeah, so this is probably going to be my biggest flip of this event so far. I'm on 76, and I'm going to change it to 92. So <laughs> for all those reasons. <laughs> Love it. Um, Selena? Yeah, I, I'm on 87, and I've, I've been chicken. Um, <laughs> one thing that I noticed, that little girl that's sitting there with her arms, behind there there's a sign that says little swimmer nappies, and it looks like she's ready to... Um, crap herself um, because she's about to jump in the water so I think that little element uh, in there as well has brought me up but it's so much to see in this. I originally thought this was two images when I saw it on the run through um, because of the white line down the centre but the fact that it's one image and it's one beautiful panorama I'll be coming up. Great, can we sum that up please Catherine? Yeah, fantastic piece of documentary photography this is ticking all of the boxes. Oh, hang on, I've got to push the button before you can lose score. It's all too exciting. Uh, there you go. It's sitting on 88. Uh, very exciting here, and it's gone to 93. Golder. <laughs> well done, judges. That's always good to see. Let's accept that. Um, can I have a blank screen, please? Not too far to go. We're just going to swap out Melissa for Craig, please. Thank you, Melissa. Welcome, Craig. Anybody else want a little break for the last few prints? Jackie, would you like to swap out with Richard just for... Richard hasn't... Uh, I think he's been sitting on the sidelines for a while. And we're all nice and fresh for the last few prints. Fabulous. And... Logged in too. Can we in the next print, please? Okay. Um, first moments. This is called first moments. Judges, you've given this a 75 bronze. Thank you for that. Um, let's take a comment, please. Um, Craig. Uh, a lot tighter crop. Thank you, Craig. Um, next print, please. Uh, this print has no title. Print score is an average of 480 silver. <laughs> we have an immediate um, challenge from Craig. Craig, what did you score at? Um, let me just catch my heart here for a moment. I've scored at a 94, very solid gold, um, on quite a few accounts. The photographer has stepped back and has observed what uh, 
the beauty that's actually presented in our own human eyes, but yet society today is seduced by living through virtual reality and seeing really what the real world is about in front of you. Um, what's selling this even more is if you actually look at some of this, uh, the cell phone photos, the cropping in the cell phone photos is almost identical to the cropping um, that the photographer has actually photographed here as well, especially with the one photo on the, photo, uh, on the phone on the left. Um, I'm really left with um, this, this sense of utter beauty that we're presented with here and a silhouette and really seeing um, what we've really become in, today, in today's society. Composition, uh, framing here is just, um, just so sublime um, and it just mimics um, what we should be visualizing in our own eyes and not seeing what, and by it being silhouetted as well, you're holding back and, and, and opening up that, that essence of um, what's being really hidden in the real world. So I've scored this in the gold for that visual communication and interpretation of something so grand. Thank you, Craig. Um, Selena, I'd like to go to you next. Yeah, I guess why I didn't come up um, for this is, is because we see moments like this all of the time. Um, you know, we see a lot of this sort of stuff. It is becoming quite normal um, for things like this to be captured, uh, you know, and I've seen a lot of this sort of stuff before and maybe that's an assessment I shouldn't be using, but um, I'm listening. Thanks, Selena. Um, Tony, please. Yeah, I'm on 82 and I'm coming up into the 90s as well. Um, I think the thing is, is we have seen this sort of thing all before, so we sort of, it's quite easily to dismiss it, that but you know, when Craig started explaining that, it started to make sense to me big time. And it's quite an unusual crop. Um, you know, to have, and I'm loving the blacks at the bottom and the blacks at the top. The symmetry of the image. Um, I mean, I've been there a couple of years ago and I didn't see that. <laughs> um, but you know, the, the, the two cell phones, one digital camera on the, on the right, and the one in the middle with his finger on the screen focusing or whatever. So, you know, and it's focusing on what he's focusing, like Craig said. So this is very clever, such subtle colour. It's getting quite hard to fault for what it is, I think. So, um, yeah, I'm up into the gold. Thank you, Tony. Catherine? Yeah, I was checking on 78 um, because, as Selena says, I've seen this before. Um, just to add something, um, the longer I look at it, I'm coming up to gold. Um, the, we haven't really talked about the graphic nature. We've talked about the symmetry and we've got the, uh, the dome echoed in the top, but there's also that layering. Of, it sort of looks like one of those uh, cut-out black paper things, and, and the, the, the contrast between that and the, the paleness and then the background is really quite stunning. The longer you look at it, the more you're rewarded. So, yeah, I'm coming up to gold. Thank you, Catherine. It's back to you, Craig, to sum it up. Look, um, I love these uh, these cards, and, and we, we struggle when we talk about photos, and we, sh we sit there and we try to come up with words, but I, I love the idea of it, it, it invokes a superior emotional response. Um, I want to add to you about the, add to this as well, as the color palette is just so subtle and so painterly here as well. Not only that is, um, it's actually slightly out of focus in, in, in the background, but yet what's so sharp is the reality of today, which is what's in the foreground. And yet we're clouded by the, the mist of technology, and yet we don't see the world with our own eyes. We're clouded by our own judgment through technology. So whether I'm reading in that, into that every, anymore, but you know, let's take this on a journey. I've scored it in a solid gold um, for, for those reasons. So I encourage you guys to reconsider. Great debate there. Can we uh, rescore it sitting on an 80? And that is a wonder way, wonderful way to finish this category on 92.
Well done, judges. Thank you so much for your participation. There was some brilliant uh, commentary coming out. I think everyone will agree. Um, members of the audience, before you go, is there any new entrants there? Uh, anybody in the audience that has just entered recently, never entered before? If so, we want you to wear a little armband. Nope? Okay, that's fine. Um, judges, can you stay uh, put for a little bit longer? Um, I'd like to thank uh, our sponsor, Sonny, um, for sponsoring this category. And obviously, thank our judges. Oh, no. Um, this is for mainly for the...